everyone. Sorry it's been a long time. Not to worry, I got some cool stuff. Uh, I I spent the uh, the last month, spent the last month, yeah, trying to uh, authoritize the whole server. But uh, but fortunately, I I succeeded. I finally got a uh, got a server that's uh, completely authoritative, except for the uh, player abilities. That's the only thing that I have left to do. Uh, well, the the rest of them are uh, completely authoritative, even the movements and every everything everything else. So uh, this is just a login screen that I just created. So uh, let's log in. Now, for now, you don't have any username or a password. All you gotta do is just uh, put a name and log in. So let's log in. Here we are inside the world. It's loading, loading, and I have my friend with me, who is going to help me uh, show you guys the party feature and all that. There he is. So let's uh, tell him hi. Okay, and the chat window is working. So there he is. He just says hi. Okay. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you the party feature. So uh, actually, have him invite. Let's see if he invites me. And the chat, uh, well, you know, there is slash commands like in many other games. Okay, there he is. Uh, you can invite him. Or he can invite you to any party so you can accept it. And if you right click on this portrait, you can invite him or let him do all, all, all those commands and all that. Okay, uh, have you joined the party? So the slash commands I can use uh, like in any other games. You can, like, you know, you can type help. And all that, and there he says, "Welcome to the party." <laughs> Anyways, uh, it shows all the av available uh, slash commands. You can, uh, you know, cycle through all the uh, available uh, channels. Time zone. Alright, there he is. Okay, it's all working. Uh, and the next feature is uh, his his icon in the minimap. When he moves, his icon moves, so he can track your party member in uh, in the minimap. So that's another f feature. And the other one is I completely actually uh, I spent a great deal amount of time trying to uh, make this uh, you know the, the NPCs and all that. Uh, had to design a database to save the uh, zone, uh, you know, like the uh, terrain data, like the you know the coordinates and where the height positions and and all that stuff. So that's where like you know a lot of my time uh, was uh, spent because I didn't know any database programming when I started, but uh, I slowly uh, learned it. So uh, yeah. That's why it took uh, it took a while, and also my schoolwork and all that. It uh, actually helped me out, so I couldn't get back to working on the game. So, anyways, uh, he just killed an enemy, and he just uh, disappeared. So you know, he's cute for spawn. Uh, and I added I added a really cool uh, effect. Which is the fading effect, low. So whenever an enemy is uh, farther away from you, they will fade away from your view. Like if you get closer, and they will fade back to the view. So that's one of my favorite. <laughs> and he just faded away because I think he just left, and he's back. And uh, the quests are like you know like earlier times. Like you can finish all, the, and you can see the party. His uh, health is going down. You can uh, track it in the in the in the party uh, window. So even you can track it in. If you click on its uh, instance, anyways, uh, the quests are all the same. You can uh, get the quests; they're all handled in the server, so the client doesn't have to do much. And it's all the same. And I created some new icons. These I actually took care of the old icon, and I uh, made some of my own icons. So, well, they're all right, I guess. So you can accept it, and also have the uh, the quest uh, messages and all that. All the same quests, so hope you are familiar with it. If you uh, saw my previous videos and the logs, all the same, they're working. So, uh, okay, so all you gotta do is talk. And the new thing is the progression messages, so and he's 
shop and do uh, a diet that shop and you get the items and all that other stuff. This is all controlled by the server again and the backpack. And one more quest that I gotta kill enemies. So uh, let's uh, well you know to see the combat. The enemies don't attack you right now. I just did that just for the uh, you know testing purposes. So they, I won't die while I was testing and all that because I was testing with looting and some combat features and all that. So they're temporarily disabled. But uh, in the next video I'll have them available. So uh, there he is. He aggroes that guy and he you know turns toward him. So the enemies won't attack him. So I can cast the spell so you know he's attacking and I'm attacking and I'm the one who actually uh, attacked last so I get the loot there's no party loot I was still working on it and uh, but no, I felt like making this video before everything's finished I actually in originally uh, didn't want to upload a new video until I finished the dungeons and all that but uh, well what the hell <laughs> And the, the enemies just uh, killed me. And there's icons too. I actually made some new icons. Uh, this gold icon is one of them. And we'll both go and kill this guy. Let's attack. And we got the loot because it's a party. So uh, I think I was I was on a quest I believe. I gotta kill three monsters and I'm killing something else. Okay, let's uh, kill the monsters. Let's go find them. And there's somewhere over here. And one more thing, I added some uh, tabs. I added tabs. You didn't notice, and I don't think I showed you guys. I took out of these blue ugly tabs and I replaced with these. I think these are better looking than what I had before. Number two, uh, the ability is uh, 215 keeps this 267 just for testing purposes, so they, cut, they die instantly. And also the loots are all handled by the server as well. Kill this guy. And it updates. One more monster kill. Okay, I'm just going to try it in. As you can see, you can still track him on the mini map. It's pretty cool. And you get all these guys. And Renown, I don't think I mentioned anything about Renown in my previous videos. It's, uh, it's one of the uh, alternative advancement features that I will explain later. Well, yeah, I was still working on the delivery quests and stuff, but you can, uh, the delivery part, I was still working on it, and you can, you can loot, you know, stuff from these guys. There it is. And it's still all, all the same as what you guys saw earlier. And you saw a new icon on the map and if you didn't know it's companion so you might have guessed it yes I do have any I do have the companion characters I don't have them uh, you know I had them in the client before I actually added multiplayer stuff but I had to uh, you know rewrite the whole thing so I don't have it active at the moment uh, but I'm still working on it I'm still working on some other stuff like party features dungeons and PvP and all that so I'm slowly making progress. So uh well there you go. You asked for the next update, so here it is. And I gotta thank X for coming here uh to show you guys uh, the party feature. And if you didn't notice the chat window disappears if you don't if, if it's not active.
Anyways, uh, yeah, you cannot disconnect from the party right now. All you gotta, if you want to leave the party, all you gotta do is just, you know, log out. So, um, I think that's about it. And uh, I'll have some uh, more updates probably uh, within uh, next or the week after that. Thanks a lot, guys.